food insecurity rate in North Texas remains higher than that of the rest of the state. The Wichita Falls Area Food Bank continues aiding people with turkeys this holiday season. Yeah, Dylan Jimenez spoke with food bank officials today. So Dylan, they've had to order more this year for the holidays compared to last year? Yeah, they sure did. About 500 more turkeys from last year. CEO David O'Neill says it's been a busy year with the holidays, but the goal stays the same, feeding everybody. It's a happy time of year as family and friends gather to stuff their face. At the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank, the nonprofit is making sure people get the chance to have full bellies. We still have people asking us for more turkeys. Turkeys fill the freezers at the food bank as they've ordered 3,200 for the year, about 500 more than last year, according to Wichita Falls Area Food Bank CEO David O'Neill. That's up 16% from last year. And as I said, what's interesting about that is the need's even greater than that. There's still people out there that are going hungry each and every day. Even hams bought for Christmas is up 20% for the year. You've got food inflation, you've got the high cost of energy, you've got all of the other economic factors that are going on. It just compounds upon that. Not only is it a busy time, but a great time for volunteers to give back. Even though they're essential all year, the holidays make it easier for the food bank to accomplish its mission. Anybody that, that uh, has the ability to be able to give back to those that have a need, uh, please do so. We couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. Working to keep people fed for the holidays and beyond. The food bank has two mobile pantries this week before closing for the Thanksgiving holidays. For more information on those pantries, click inside the story at texthomashomepage.com. I know there's a big need. Thank goodness the food bank is there for those in need. Dylan, thanks so much for that report.